Previously on Pokemon D&D Kanto Edition, our trainers found themselves in a tense session where everyone was captured, caged, and the shocking began. A couple of bad rolls put everyone into pretty low health except for Jazz, who had escaped to try to survive at the party's discretion. Don't get mad at her. Trevor is on two successes and two fails with this character, Roland. One more fail and Roland will die. One more bad roll. Kyena could die. Find out if the party survives now on Pokemon D&D Kanto Edition. So one got tied up. One got murdered. Uh, there was the one that's in the cage. And then there was the one that's now in front of the cage. And then the fifth one, which was the one that... Did I just turn it off? No, I turned it on because uh, it was I about just, to expire. I just thought I heard the thing go once you set back down. Let me double check. So, definitely three are out of the picture, so that leaves at least two. For sure, sure. Plus the one that's tied up on the road, so four. Alright, so, um, let's move forward. Four. Okay, so... I already rolled so that you are going to ask earlier. Minus four for your third roll. That is also a four. And Kira. What did Kira get? Depression. Yeah, really. Two, Kira. But uh, with what you uh, message, Kira, how would he know just through the essence of the bond? According to the stats I wrote, can feel anywhere between five to twenty-five percent, depending on bond strength of any pain the partner is feeling, regardless of distance. Okay, so as of like this moment, oh, you're saying that when? Okay, I see what you're saying. You're saying yeah, because you said I've been here for days being. Yep. Yep. I agree. Okay, cool. That's good to know. Alright, so uh, Roland, it's your turn. What'd you roll? Good luck, bro. 12. That's th three successes. So does that mean you're just fainted now? Okay. He gets with one, eight, uh, one HP. One HP, you survived. Great job. Passed out. Barely alive. <laughs> barely, barely. All right, so I need you guys to make me another D4 roll, please. Oh. I'm dead. Did you roll a four? I did, four fours in a row. Trevor can testify to if he saw this all four true. of them. Okay. So, now you're at a point where you're going to have to start making your saves. Yeah, but in 30 minutes it won't matter. Because I'll still be shocked twice. And that's an attack and I'll be four felt death saves. You don't know if it's set to a timer with how long these things are going to consistently shock? You said every 15 minutes. Yeah, but there could be like a max duration where it does this. Okay. okay. So, oh, so wait, but if that the, the one runt is now unconscious due to being choked out, I think at that point I'd have gone for a poker roll. Um, yes you can. 
So it's been about an hour. Okay. So it's been a, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Mike, what did you roll? A three. Three? Mm -hmm. Or so, Brawley, there we go. It's been an hour in game at that point. Because uh, you said every 15 minutes. Yep. And you did it four times. Um, since I'm in the woods, can I do another? Per can I do a perception and see if the police are nearby? Yeah. It's an eleven. An eleven? Okay. Um, you don't notice anything. So we're gonna move back over to. Kai needs to make me a save, and then Brawly and Kira, you need to make me another D4. Oh, hold on. Six. Oh, oh, yeah. I just died. Wait, what? If we all got shocked again, and then I made a death saving throw, and I felt that death saving throw, that's the way you felt death saving throws. Because every hit when you're down is two felt death saving throws. So you just shocked him, so he got two death saving throws. And then... And then I rolled mine and I fell. I got a six. Okay, so let's just back up before that. Uh, Kira was going for a Pokeball. Do I have to roll for that? No. Or, so yeah. And I, um, basically, I, I let it out. And I, I go, I want to help you, but you need to help me too. Can we be temporary partners? And um, so the Pokemon that you release is a Bulbasaur with a purple aura. It has rage in its eyes. <laughs> Make it normal. Mm. T. No. Um, roll me D4, please, Kira. Don't be on. All right. So as of right now, it isn't. It will acknowledge you. What would you like to do with the Pokemon? Um. Attack the other grunt. Bust us yeah. out of here. Um, Break the key. If it's, uh, sorry, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, if it's a Bulbasaur, uh, I'm assuming there's like a lock on the shackles, right? Um, or no, no. No, continue. I was thinking about the shock collar. Shock collar. Yeah. The shackles. So, yeah, there, there is a, like, a lock on the shackles, yes. Is it big enough Is just like still in front of the cage, just yeah. dead, right? Yeah. I mean, he's like, give or take 10 feet away from the cage. Alright. With that being said, that timer just went off. You guys notice. Come flying from above. Skyrockets down with extreme speed. Three Pidgeots hit the ground. Brawly looks to notice. He notices someone familiar. He's like, my savior. Mom. 
The grunt looks to what's happening and flees into the woods as it wants no part of what's about to happen. Um, shouldn't he roll for that though? Because they are. Yeah. And while the bosses are, I get to command it. Can I uh, command it to trip up the rocket? Yeah, go ahead. He's fine. Yeah. Okay. And then roll to hit. A D20? What? Just straight D20? Yes, yeah. please. God damn it. Eight. You miss. Yeah. The grind is running. So, I'm gonna take... Your... I thought you were... You fleed the whole area. Okay, so that doesn't mean that I still can't turn back okay. because you said he's running into the woods, right? Uh, but... Like he's on, he's running the whole opposite direction than where you're at. Okay. Well, the, uh, uh, all I was gonna ask was which way was he going? He's going and north. If I can go to stop you're... him, that's all I was gonna ask. Why would you do that? Huh? I said, why would you do that? I would tackle him because maybe he has your guys' stuff on him. Um. All right. So with that being said, you see three pidgeots hit the ground. Three officers hop off. Wait, how big are Pidgeots? Of the Pidgeots. They're huge. Okay. Okay, I was just like, I was thinking and of That's why that or... they got there so fast. Was their ability to basically go Mach 1. In so flight. Pidgeots, right? They are freaking nice. fast. And I did research. Officer Jenny has a Pidgeot. So this is something that would be realistic. Um, so essentially, Brawley notices his mom... There's two other officers. One of them looks like they are from the medical team. So you get the assumption that you got, that there is a medic among the squad of three. Officer Jenny is surveying the area. Officer Jenny points out the grunt that's running and tells one of the grunts that other grunt, not the medical grunt, to chase after it one of the and restrain. To chase after him. Restrain the grunt before he flees too far into the forest. That police officer is in pursuit. In a matter of seconds, that Pidgeot grabs that grunt by its talons and basically, with his talons, throws him to the floor. The officer hops off the Pidgeot and restrains the grunt as the grunt is on the ground and had taken a hit from the impact of the velocity of what the Pidgeot was going. So... Dead. <laughs> Not dead, no, just... I right. <laughs> Officer Jenny rushes over to where she sees critical condition, which is the cage. So it didn't... I, Not point, to, I point to Kaina and go, hot first! Oh, oh, I'm dead, right. dog. Dead. Yeah, Kaina died. Dead. Nebula doesn't know that. But yeah. I'm gonna say right now, Kaina is not dead. But I did not initiate the final. But you did. You made everyone. Alive. No, that not was for the final. No, I was going to, the and then Kira mm -hmm. wanted to do something. So there you go. Um. Okay, so the police officers are essentially breaking the cage open, or the officer Jenny, I should say, is breaking the cage open. She rushes in to. Analyze what's going on. And then, um... She unshackles you guys. And, essentially, um... She's quite intelligent. Mm -hmm. So, she is working on a way to get the colors off your guys' bodies. With that being said, I'm gonna say that to, end, to wrap up session that essentially you guys are saved by Officer Jenny and the squad. You guys are going, they're going to basically um, throw you in the cabin, help you guys recover, give you medical attention, and you guys will start out next session with you guys waking up to full recovery um, in the sense that the Pokemon... Um, that that are missing are going to be returned to you and it's pokeballs stuff like that you get your equipment back and then you guys can continue on your adventure from there
And meanwhile, meanwhile, the police is going to do a full investigation on the Team Rocket base. Ain't gonna find anything. I got it. Man. Um. Well, the backpack that you had. Um, I believe with all the stolen Pokemon laptop and stuff was obviously dropped and taken. Or no, dropped when you, um, exactly, passed out. So, yeah. So they're, they, all, they do have access to the backpack is what I'm saying. They're going to get all the stolen Pokemon. They're going to get the laptop. The police have access to that. TLPC Nation, our people, we are back at another Pokemon d, &D session. Yo. We have the party of Brawly, played by Master Mike. We have Jazz, played by Jazz. We also have... <laughs> we also have... Kayana! It's not my name, but nice try. <laughs> Played Kyana. by Kayana. <laughs> my bad, my bad. So close. Kayana in the hizzle. Kayana! Played by Master Finn. And we also have Roland played by Master Trevor. And we have your, yours truly, Master Joel, the DM. And we also have our new party member, Master Kira. And she is playing Nebula. No. Alright guys. Last time on Pokemon D and D, we almost died. You we guys did. went through the ringer. <laughs> the biggest challenge after an IE, and you guys passed. I am so proud of you. Um, everyone got a level up. So that was good stuff. And everyone has a shadow Pokemon, which is also cool stuff. I love. I will definitely be interested to see how you guys work that in. Um, let's see here. You guys were extremely exhausted from the hard fought battle at Team Rocket's base and fighting and the Apprentice Elden, which was a very overpowered character. So, you guys did well with that. Um, we are going to start out today's session with you guys waking up in a wooden cabin. Surrounded by police officers. So with that being said, you guys wake up. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. You guys uh, notice that you're in a wooden cabin that has... I'm actually technically not in a wooden cabin. Five beds in it. And then, or I, I'm just going to say to make these easy, six beds in it. There we go. And then, um, Jazz... I'm going to assume that even though you like ran away, you came back after you saw. I technically would have not saw. Okay, so Jazz, tell us what happened in between um, that whole process. Since you're not, you're saying you're not in the cabin. Technically, I wouldn't be in the cabin because I ran away from dying, as my teammates suggested I should and hinted at because they were like if someone can get out at least someone can yeah tell us what um, happened well you know roland and i were fighting that not that i wanted to fight my beautiful teammate roland and in the mix of everything she almost sacrificed huh almost i did almost kill roland i don't want to fight i just shot him <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but I did, uh, Roland sacrificed herself to, it's, uh, sacrificed herself to get me away. And so on that, even though I wanted to go back and save everyone, I thought it'd be better not to. So I ran a little bit farther into the woods and kind of was hiding there into the woods of the woods and that is where I'm still hiding trying to game plan what I'm going to be doing here we are back at it oh wait sorry all right everybody Jazz was just explaining that 
She wasn't in the cabin, but everyone else is. Oh, no. So, Jez, where is your character? It's been from the moment it was nighttime all the way now to 8 o'clock in the morning. What's your character been doing? Been wandering. Been wandering, so you've gotten no sleep. I'm deprived. I don't, I, in my mind, my team died. Okay, I will let you know, based off that, you're going to have disadvantage on your checks. That. Because you are sleep deprived. Oh well. Alrighty. For how long? Until you get sleep. Until, so, until you rest. Until we go ask it's to bed, girl. <laughs> You've been up for like 24 hours. Has it been that? It's I mean, the next day. Yeah. Because we, we were walking and for it's, a long time. It's essentially like 12 hours. Mm -hmm. And you just had a grueling, exhausting experience. Yeah. Mentally, physically, and spiritually. Okay. Alrighty. I mean, you can talk to the party and see if they're well, cool with you taking like, you know, four hour nap or something. No. I'm not even back with them yet. To me, they're dead. Alrighty. They died. So you're wandering. I where, ran all the Where did you, where'd you wander to? Where where's the location of you? Oh, I'm still in the woods. I just on the periphery. But yeah, where, I didn't fully completely like absolutely dip dip, but I still haven't bothered pause to pause button. I remember Joel saying that officers went out into the forest to investigate when they all showed up and like this is great. rescued us. Yes, this is. If I remember correctly. You, you said that there was going to be an investigation launched. Yes. Um, I don't believe I said they're going into the forest. Mm -hmm. Like, but they, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly that they were going to, I did say that they were going to do a full blown investigation on the Team Rocket base. Um, Either way. If you would like. Put in here. We can pause this, and I could go through the old footage. No, if you want. All right. Cool. Um. So. I was just saying that I am not necessarily at the base at this moment, mm -hmm. but that now that it's been morning time, I have decided that I want to go back and check and see if they're. Now that I've re got out of the main situation and waited to see if things cooled down that I was gonna go back to the base. Got it, you're heading to back check. to base. Meanwhile, while you're making your way back, we're gonna go to the party here. You got the four of you, wake up in that cabin. What are you guys doing? <laughs> I see all of them laying and I'm like. I'm still a woman. That's <laughs> All right. That, that feel of chicken. Rise up, oh, no move, just straight up like Dracula. Straight up like Dracula. Are the rest of them? I mean, I will do. The the fruit. Wake, wake, wake up! Head, shoulders, you guys knees, okay? toes. <laughs> I see him checking himself out. Eight toes. Her checking herself okay. out. I uh, as I wake up, I kind of like rub my face and realize that I'm not in shackles anymore. So I'm I'm pretty happy right now. Alright, well, it's up to you guys to determine what you'd like to do. Um, I'm gonna look around to see who else is in the room or if it's just us. You look around, you see it's just you guys in the room, you make me perception roll. So is this what Pokey Hill looks like? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna talk though. Oof, 25. Did you roll like a... 20. Oh, so crit success. You see like all your guys' bags next to where your guys' sleeping area is. Like you notice all your inventory's there. You notice that like your Pokeball, all your Pokeballs have been fully healed and returned. Um, I'm gonna look at them and say, hey, look, there's our stuff. Are you guys I'm gonna 
it's related. I'm going to introduce Nebula to everybody because yeah. they don't know her. Alright, cool. Let's do that. Um, I'm going to look at Kiana and Roland and be like, hey. Who? Kiana. Ha 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 <laughs> Kiana. Oh. Okay. It's like it's like Cyan, but pronounced incorrectly. Kiana and Roland and It's um, like Kiana with an A. Kiana. <laughs> but I am hey. first. Never gonna look that down. All right. Um. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be like Roland Kiana. This is Nebula. I met her in the cage when I was locked up. Like slowly sitting up and rubbing my eyes like, hey. Slowly rubbing Why is he introducing us like he's about to get married? I met her when I was in the cage, man. It just from first time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna bring myself. Hey, I'm rolling. Um, are you okay? How long you have speak you been up here? just a little bit. Oh, sorry. Uh, I just want to introduce myself. I'm rolling. Are you okay? How long have you been here? Do you remember anything? Just kind of those questions. I think I've been here for a couple days. I kind of lost track of time and I think I was out for a while, but. <gasps> And I like, I start scrambling and looking for my stuff. And I, I, I scramble and I look for my robot phone. How easily can I find it in my panic? It's a question for you. Yeah. I didn't quite hear it, everything. She asked, uh, how easily can she find her Rotom phone in her panic? Um, roll me a uh, D20. Add anything to it, or just a flat D20? A flat D20, or add anything to it? I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Investigation. Investigation, thank you. That's why how many issues are there? Yeah, no, um... Um, you're, you're such in a panic... Total, uh, five. <laughs> you're in such a panic that you're having severe flashbacks, you're, you've been traumatized from the experience, you just need some time to regather yourself before you can really mentally find I'm things. I'm not panicking because of the experience. I'm panicking because it has been several days since I have called my boyfriend. Boy. <laughs> and he is probably absolutely out of his mind with insanity. Okay, okay, my bad. I misjudged that. Um, well... Yeah, you can keep looking for your phone, but you're just not finding it at the moment. But I assure you, everything is within your inventory. So. Cool. This I'm gonna, is kind of I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, look at her. Oh play. my god, my boyfriend is gonna kill Nebula. me. Nebula. Like, not literally, but he's more likely to be here in Kanto right now. Searching Nebula. Nebula. He's gonna actually kill me. I just, I need to call him and hey, like, bro. tell him that I'm actually okay. Hold on, wait, Nebula. I see a bunch of stuff over there. Is that your stuff over there? And I'm gonna point to that. Does it have, does it have that thing that's in it that look like my part? I don't know, go check or sense in there, right? Yeah. Yeah. You rolled a crit, so you were very perceptive of the room. Yeah, it looks like there's a bunch of equipment over there. It's probably some of yours too. Yeah, I'll check with you. Scrambling over there. And, and like I scramble by and I'm like, I see it like a Pokeball, and I'm like, ah, my Pokemon! I have to find the person! My fucking wings! Like, she's all over the place. Like, she's... You'd you think she'd be, like, more, like, freaked out over, like, the awful things that That'd just happened to her, but it's like, me last! Pokemon first, boyfriend second, me last! <laughs> first. Gotta get your minds. Alright, guys. Well... Um, continue on. I'm gonna go over there too and look for my equipment and 
just kind of get everything back in order. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm pretty sure I gonna know what pack is mine. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure I have all the stuff that I once had and pray that all my Pokemon are in there. I'm looking for my quick ball. I'm working, looking for uh, if whatever Pokeball Eevee is in, I'm looking for a chipped normal Pokeball ball. It's chipped because my Pidgey keeps pecking at it incessantly. Um, Eevee is gonna be in a Premier Ball. That's what I thought. I, I, I was gonna say Premier Ball, but I didn't want to be too presumptuous. <laughs> yeah. If you got a uh, Oak Starter, the Starter Pokemon is in a Premier, premier Ball. Great. All right, everyone has their inventory. Um, <laughs> guess I'm gonna look around for the door. Or... I mean, yeah. Oh, no. yeah, it's not too big of a cabin, sure. so. It's going right for the door. Yeah, the the bright sun is hitting your eyes. Close that door right now. Ugh, some fresh air can do you. Close the door. Shh. Think. Um, I'm okay. Now. That did not feel good. Also, can't we? I will give Meowth a knife instead of a baseball bat. That sounds like a you problem. Sounds like a you problem. I know. We went through some shit last night. Yeah? A knife might be needed. <laughs> you got that knife, bro? I do have a knife. No. Alright then. <laughs> I know where you sleep. That's not that hard to figure out. I know. Hey, hey guys, just in case the camera, can we just speak up a little bit? Sorry. Just so that. Is there any reason we should wait to go out? Not, not just the camera. Uh, me too. Well, um, do you know what's going on out there? No. So it looks like our party did actually survive, thanks to Brawly's mom coming in clutch. Now that they're away from Rocket, and they have a new grudge to find, what are they going to do? What will them and their shadow Pokemon figure out? And what's going to be the plan with another party member? Find out next time on Pokemon D&D Kanto Edition. And if you're joining, like, subscribe, and leave us a comment, man. We love the interaction. Have a great day.